Okay, in this video, we're going to discuss the attribute substitution survey, which we took this week. The survey is really to show that same principle that was discussed by Kinnaman and Shane back in 2002, both of whom are psychologists. But don't be fooled by that. I remember two folks have won uh, the Nobel Prize in economics who were psychologists. In fact, another non-economist was a mathematician. And uh, that was John Nash. So apparently the Nobel Prize Committee doesn't discriminate. Now, the survey is really just composed of two questions. Question one, ask participants about their overall life satisfaction. Whereas question two, specifically ask participants about their satisfaction with their love life. Now, participants are split into two groups. Half of them are confronted with question one first. The other half with question Two first. Now, the participants who have been confronted with question two first have essentially been primed. Someone who's already been thinking about their love life, who is then asked about their happiness, might substitute how happy they are with their love life rather than answer the question that's been asked, right? Now, it's expected that the group means, that is the averages of the answers to question one, differ across the two groups. And furthermore, the correlation between the answers of the two questions is expected to be a lot higher among the group who's been primed and was asked question two first. Now, before you poo-poo all of this work that we're doing here as just merely being psychology and not having any application to economics, you can think of a lot of examples right off the bat where question ordering makes a whole heck of a lot of difference. Imagine a real estate agent showing you homes in a neighborhood, in a town you've never been to because you've just been transferred there. So you're relying on the agent to help you. Believe it or not, the order in which the agent presents the homes to you can have a big influence on how you make up your mind which house to buy. Uh, same thing happens in the uh, automobile dealership, right? So this is a very important thing. It, ha it can have a profound impact on your decision making. But if you have a better understanding about how the human mind works, it can make you a, a much more intelligent economic agent rather than a, merely a passive economic agent. I hope this was useful. Take care and best wishes.